quick update. Um, as you can tell from my face, I've really lost a lot of weight. Um, but I'm trying to get back into the normal swing of things. And today is the second day in over three months that I've taken care of the animals myself. And I really missed doing that. It was hard for me to relinquish control of my homestead. Um, and I'm not going to be doing this every day to start out. I'm only going to have a couple days a week that I'm by myself. And then as I prove that I'm able to take care of everything. More days will be added each week. So, uh, it's kind of cold today, colder than the last few days. Probably in the low 40s. We haven't really had any snow yet this year, which is surprising considering it's almost December. And, uh, I'm up here to the rabbits now, and let me switch cameras so you can see them instead of me. Here are the rabbits. My female New Zealand. A, uh, another female and my male silver fox. They've not really been eating and drinking much lately. Yeah, barely. Barely anything. A little bit of food, a little bit of water. Let me get them taken care of. I'll bring you right back. And now that they're taken care of, off to do the chickens and the goats. Not really a lot to do when the weather gets cold. Mostly just feeding and watering the animals, sometimes up to twice a day if the water freezes. Oh no, the goats got in the building. You guys are going to be in trouble. So I come back up to get the rabbit's watering jug. It's a two and a half gallon container that you buy like bulk water from Walmart. It was about empty. I got the goats taken care of and I can't really blame the goats for getting in the goat barn. I never got the goat barn finished before I started cancer treatment and the only thing that holds the door shut is the uh, doorknob and if you push on the door hard enough it will open so that's on me not on the goats. I'll have to get a padlock type clasp for more security or a deadbolt or something like that. But uh they're watered and taken care of. The chickens are watered and taken care of. And now I'm just saving a step for tomorrow where the rabbits would actually need more water in this jug in order to water them. So yeah, it actually feels good to get back into taking care of the animals, I think. I think the only issues that I would have right now if I was here full time all the time is taking out trash. 
because I am pretty weak yet. And uh, trash cans weigh quite a bit. They got to be loaded up in my truck or in the back of the trailer. Taken all the way down to the end of the road, which is about one and three quarters of a mile. Unloaded. And uh, I don't honestly know that I could do that right now by myself. But as far as feeding and watering animals and basic housework and cooking, that is not an issue for me. Rabbits are taken care of. Goats are taken care of. Chickens are taken care of. I winterized the beehives yesterday or day before yesterday and did not record it. So I switched over from liquid bee syrup to dry sugar feeder. And uh, it's too cold for them to fly now. So they're pretty much in there until spring unless we get a really, really warm day. Um, I didn't really get the garden done. For the end of the year, I normally till the beds under and add some sort of a crop cover. Um, I was actually going to do buckwheat this year and harvest it, but I didn't get that done. So I had to prioritize what was getting done. And obviously everything doing, dealing with the animals came first just to get me by during treatment. And that's done. So now it's just trying to get to warmer weather in the spring and try to get me back on track. And uh, that's kind of the update that I wanted to give. I am making progress, but it's slow progress. And I'm sure I got many weeks to months left to go before I'm fully back on track. So everybody that's recent subscribers and people have been subscribed for a while, as always, I thank you for watching my videos. I thank you for taking the time to comment. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Thanks.